Hey, what's up everybody? This is Andy, and we're back with another Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty game, currently Season 2. We're about to go up against New Mexico State. Last game, we uh, beat Louisiana Tech by 10. And really, I think they scored they scored 14 in the fourth. I think one was really toward the end of the game, because I think we were up like 24-3. to three. We were up, uh, we, it was pretty well in hand. 10 point. Oh, they also, they did recover an uh, onside kick at the end, but I think they didn't end up scoring off of it. Anyhow, it was a little bit more out of reach than just 10 points, so that was a pretty pretty good win. So up next is New Mexico State. So I say let's get into it. Real quick, though, I just, I don't remember. Let's check, like, injuries and suspensions, because I know we have a couple. We have Polk is still out. He's out for one more week. He's pretty good. He's pretty good on the line. Uh, our, the backup is not too bad. I think he's high 70s. I think it's, is it Meeks? I forget who it is exactly. And what about program standards? So we used to have Cole Popovich. Oh, look at this. This is actually new. So we will see this when we start the next game. It's going to ask us to deal with, deal with this. So let's go ahead and roll it. And once we get in the game, also we'll have to check and see who the backup is to Popovich. So here we go. All games will be simulated. Roll them. What do we got? Cole Popovich, skirting the law. And so now you can see, uh, you can see where the discipline points. I don't know if you remember if you watched the recruiting, but this is where that discipline budget comes into play. So you can see, okay, it recommends suspending him for the quarter. One of Popovich's professors has complained about his excessive tardiness. This has become quite a disturbance to the rest of the class. Dude, that's normal. A anybody that's gone to college has had classes with a football player. They're never there. I think it's under understood they're never there, though. <laughs> they're always at practice or something or on the road for the game. So uh, I'm just curious here. Quarter, so suspended for the quarter is 27 points. So it looks like two points per quarter. Wait, one game is 25 points. Quarter, three quarters is also 25 points. What's that do? I wonder what that does to the NCAA team interest. Three quarters versus one game. Wait, okay, what about one game? Let's, I mean, it is New Mexico State. We could just suspend them for the game. Two games gets your interest down quite a bit. Uh, let's just do one game. We'll 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 do we'll do the recommended. We'll do the recommended. Now, if the I, I typically just just because I want to avoid cheesing the game, uh, because I, I want to avoid cheesing the game, so I'm just going to leave it on the recommended. Then, if it gets to start, if it start, if the interest gets high enough to where it's in possible sanction territory, then we'll think about doing more uh, doing more stuff. Because also, if somebody else gets suspended, we have more points to use for discipline action, so I think we're okay. So, let's get into it. And I'm going to change my input over to the less laggy input, so that uh, I think the video is going to go out for a second, but it'll come back. There we go. It's back. So let's roll it. All right, at New Mexico State on the road. What do they have? Receiver with a bunch of receiving yards. Holbrook is out. Oh, their quarterback's out. Hopefully our defense can have a good time in this game. I'd love to get more sacks. But really, it's all, it's all about the offense, running the ball, picking up first downs, getting that momentum, that sweet momentum. This stadium's pretty fun. My friends and I have actually been here. We 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 uh we went there for the New Mexico Bowl. The Fresno State Bulldogs and the New Mexico State. Which one was it? I believe it was it was the one against Colorado State where uh Gartrell Johnson. I believe he set the record for rushing yards in a bowl game, like bowl game, all-time bowl game rushing yards against us. Like 330 yards, something like that. It was out of hand. And, and the thing is, the funny thing is, I remember in my mind we got beat up pretty good in that game, but in reality, I think we only lost by like five or eight. We didn't lose by that much. Okay, let's send it down to our head referee for today's game for the coin toss, brought to you by Coke. 
And we do have the TV crews for some reason. We must be getting ranked a little bit higher. I didn't see what our ranking was on the loading screen. We'll take the ball. We'll take the ball. I think we can run on these guys. I think we can get the early score. My defense is probably still better than my offense at this point. But I think the matchup is such that we really need to try to get that momentum going early. I mean, I would just love for this to be like a like a 31 to 10 type of game. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do okay, twin halfback. Twin halfback. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to go more. I, I kind of want to go more with uh, four wide here. Because I feel like the running, I've had I've had better luck running this than the uh, the two tight end set. After all, he isn't exactly going against the best front seven in the nation. Yeah, but this defense is fired up to get him. Oh goodness, got stuffed already. Okay, who who? Oh, also in practice mode, I was messing with the snap counts. Okay, they got a great jump, but nobody knocked him back, so that's good. I was messing with the snap counts, and uh, I was having some luck. Getting a let's see, receiver well, they, corner. Let's this check this out. I was having some luck mixing up the snap counts to avoid big jumps, and so they did it on one this time. So let's try a two count. Oh, that's not a two count. Let's see if we get a field. So they're in zone, right? Yeah, they're in zone. So that's the call. That's that's the read I want to make in zone. That corner, that, I might have to try to run away from him because that corner is, uh, he's looking pretty stout. Okay, where is the, there's corner sit. Actually, let's run it to the opposite side. So I have more room to run. Okay, this actually looks like I might want to run QB choice here. Yeah, let's change the QB choice, see how they, okay, they change their alignment, that's good. And we have that pulling, uh, that pulling tackle. Yes, there we go. There we go. I think that was a great jump still, though. Okay, PA Reed. We just want to do heavy Clifton. Let him do the heavy lifting. Clifton with the lifting. Okay, I'm going to let this rock. I'm going to read the left side as to where, whether I hand it off. I think I'm either handing it off or doing the swing pass, though. Okay, they got... Oh, no! He got... Oh, oh, that's right. Duh. So, I'm looking at this. I'm like, oh, he got a block. Well, it's a pass play. He's running her out. So this would have worked pretty well. I think it would have worked well to run the swing pass. Okay, we gotta get some we gotta get some yardage. Okay, man, I should see. Oh, I built a pivot. Something. Okay, let's run this levels. We'll get a little pass blocking. We might end up throwing at that dot corner though. So let's not do that, actually. I might have to call timeout here. I don't want to throw a corner out to that dot. Let's see if we can get realigned quickly enough. So we'll throw it to Sacone. It looks like we have Sei coming in. There we go. Cut under. Boom. Nice job, Sacone. See, we can do this against lesser defensive backs. That's double coverage, but they're just... It, it, not effectively. They're just the guys aren't in position, so we're okay. Now the other guy I was looking at, I was I was looking at Sei. They say you come across. They have three spies. What's this triple spy? Okay, it's so actually I, I do know what this is. I shouldn't say what is this triple spy, although it took me a moment to realize. I believe one of these three. So it's actually a double spy, but one of these guys is guarding Clifton. Like you know how they have the little the little line the line like his line like this guy's line attaches here. One of these linebackers has his line attaching to Clifton, and Clifton is pass blocking. He's not running around, so it just looks like a spy. So yeah, they're, you're definitely not throwing anything, uh, throwing any crosser routes against that. Hey, what's up, James? So that sounds good, man. Yeah, it's kind of early. This is an early bird, a bit of an early bird. And part of that's because uh, John said he has a big game of Madden coming up in a bit, and I really like to watch that. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and run the stream now. Okay, so here I want to go. If it's if it's zone, I'm bro I'm throwing the swing pass. It is, it is, it is. I'm gonna wait on it though. Oh, come back, come back. Oh, there we go. Okay, like, and I knew I should have thrown it earlier. No, 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 in the shoulder. Please be non-throwing. Please be non-throwing. Yeah, I should have thrown it earlier. But here, it's like these guys, these guys freak me out. Because it's hard to tell if they're running to the running back. Because, oh, well, the thing is, I'm not looking directly at him. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, Scott? Good to see you, man. Yeah, so I see this guy in my peripheral. I'm not looking straight at him. So I'm, I'm looking down here, but I see him in my peripheral. 
but that's not really enough to see if he's guarding Clifton or not. Oh, goodness. All right, so we're definitely going to have to run now. Let us run. Let's actually go back to PA read flow, and we might change this to QB choice. Ball on the 40. This defense is in the dime. We'll stick with this. We'll stick with it. Okay, there we go. That's good. That's really good. Ooh, ooh. Stretch it out. Okay, we got the first, though, right? I could have stretched it out more. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Okay. Okay, let's get a tight end in there. We'll run some more. I'm worried, dude. Uh, Brand Stater just hurt his shoulder, Scott. I'm a little worried. A little worried. We'll do a three count. There we go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. McCuller with the tackle at the 26 yard line. So the run goes for another first down and Kirk. Okay, let's run something with some crossing routes. Norton has decent passing stats. I think he's accuracy his accuracy is not good. Oh, let's run this HP mid attack. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what I don't like about this though? I'm gonna see if I can flip this. Because I don't want to throw against that dot corner. And the chief man route is gonna be the out there. So here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. Wait, did you say Brand Stater? Oh, he's back already. Okay, good, good, good. Nice. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good Yeah, we're gonna try I mean I wanna try to mix it up, but it's gonna be any passing I do is gonna be it's gonna be low risk passing. Okay, where's that formation with bear and shotgun? There it is. And we want QB choice, not counter trap. Oh, QB slot. Uh, yeah, let's run that. Okay, we're a little on play clock. Uh, let's move Bear over. Do we have time for that? Yeah, we do, barely. <gasps> Look at that hole. Look at that hole. Oh, dude. <laughs> come on. <laughs> That's not realistic. How does he get... Oh, my goodness. This out of nowhere. And th this is one of the funny things about the game. Normally, when you, when you hit someone in a football, it's not going to be a quote-unquote big hit if you're both running in the same direction. Oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's just go right to it. James and I talked about this before. I'm just going to do a, to a PA read flow here. I'm not going to mess with Jumbo. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, this actually looks ripe for the swing pass. No, no, they only got three down linemen. Let's audible to QB choice. I think my blocking will hold up. I think there's a chance. Okay, we're going to fan left on the line. Okay, we're running out of time here. Oh, goodness, Wow. And the great jump, so that didn't help. Does that is that what got me though? Is it the great jump? I don't know if I had a chance other than that. Uh, no, it wasn't the great jump. That, so the guy that got the great jump actually was double teamed. They just didn't block anybody. Left guard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever, whatever. And let's see. Uh, that was PA QB choice. That was QB choice, right? Okay, let's run PA read again, dude. Yeah, it'll be okay. Oh, it's third down. It's third down. Okay, I think we got this though. I think we got this. I'm gonna read the left and either it's either handoff or swing pass. I'm not messing with anything else. We'll do a two count. It's blocking. We got blocking. We got blocking. Go 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 go. Okay, good job, Clifton. Nice. Got the momentum. This is this is the recipe, guys. This is the recipe. Yeah, it's pretty much just a real quick read on. On left side, like if I see if I see linemen get blocked and DBs back off, that's the signal to run. If I see guys rush in, that's kind of when I want to keep it and then throw that swing pass. Yeah, this is a cool stadium. It was a good time. Dude, thank you, man. We're trying. I'd like this to be a like non-stress game where we just, we just get it by a few scores, you know, force a few punts. Let's uh, let's go cover three dime. I think they these guys pass a lot. I think. New Mexico State in a four-wide set. Yes, let's go! Great jump right off the bat. Look at that. That's a good start. That's a good start. In our D-line, we should have them overmatched, so hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Yeah, we have them fairly overmatched here. 
Didn't get it that time. They snapped it too quickly. Ooh, almost got the strip. Oh, third and 18. I guess we'll go cover two man. Okay, I'm not gonna fa okay. I'm not gonna fan everybody back because I feel like when I do that, the safeties are too far back to make a play. New Mexico State sets up with four receivers. Ooh, I jumped early. Okay, we'll just play safety with Roberts here. He's pretty mobile. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Check it out. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> okay, I jumped too early. Oh, that was actually wasn't a bad pass. It was a pretty good pass on the run. It just went farther than I expected. Barely got the hand on there. And even then, oh, look at this. Even then, it, it kind of wobbles to where if he does a different animation, he could have still caught it off the tip. Yeah, that would have been rough. And look at these guys. These guys are, t this could have been really bad, actually. Because look, these safeties running back, they're taking a bad angle. Because if this guy catches it, he's going hes going like that. These guys are running up this way. Look at that. Yeah, that, that could have been a touchdown. It's okay, though. Fourth and long. The Aggies line up the punt. Number 18, the return man. He gets it away. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. And I don't want to do anything too risky. This is going to be a more conservative type of game. Yeah, you know, let's just try this formation. I think they're in a four, a three, four though. Yeah, they're in a three, four. So I don't know how well this will work. If, if this doesn't work, like after a couple tries, I'm gonna just stick with four wide. But this is a big play formation if it works. So let's do like a two count. Okay, great jumps. So we need to change that up. Oh my gosh! See, look that. No, Clifton. Dude, what is the shoulders? Is this turf? Is this like anti-shoulder turf? What's going on? Yeah, see if that if that block holds up, then uh, he's got some room to run. Okay, let's go back to our four wide. Okay, let's run this HB divide seam. So if we get man, we could run the corner out. Actually, it kind of looks good for QB choice. Uh, I need yardage though. I can't risk getting a like a no gain here. So we'll go Matthews, or if it's uh, if it's man, we'll go Dorsey. Okay, we're going Matt. Nope, 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 nope. Oh goodness, oh goodness. No, I didn't. I, I had kind of had chest in there, but I just I don't know. I didn't want to throw it. You never know. He could get hit on the throw. Brandstater's release is pretty slow. Ah, yeah. I guess I could have gone chest, and it's okay. So let's run this. You know what? Let's give him a chance. We'll run. Let's run this levels. So. That's okay, yeah, so even though that corner has a dot, Chaston has it matched up decently well. So here, it's either Dorsey across the middle. That's if we have a lot of time to throw. Ugh. I just don't. Uh, ah, say he was kind of coming over there. I just, I don't know. I didn't like it. Preserve momentum. I don't need any shenanigans. The Bulldogs line up the punt. Pass blocking was good though, but it's so it's so hard. And here, here, it, I just what I was gonna say is it's really hard to. Wow, he freaking boomed that. Um, oh, sit down. Yeah, look at that. Good choice to punt. How about that? Um, passing against an all-out zone is so hard in Heisman. It, you pretty much have to run. It, you pretty much have to run a post. It's like a post over the middle. Or just kind of let your guys run around and get free, which has happened for me a little bit. Oh, safety! Let's go! Nice job. Kenny Avon. Oh, I've never seen that safety animation, or at least I don't remember it. Dude, look at him get get through. Just nobody blocked him. That kind of this kind of looks like the zone the zone read though, and it the blocking sucks on that play. Dude, that is that is pretty nice. But see, that's why we don't mind punting. That's why we don't mind throwing the ball away and not forcing it into coverage. That is why we don't mind. All right, so let's see if we get a little more get a little more going this play. Okay, you know what? Let's go with the three wide. Let's try some stuff in here. There's some good formations in, or some good uh, there's some good routes in here. Split and drag. Yeah, let's run split and drag. Run it the other way, though. I want to probably go away from the dot corner. Okay, I picked the wrong play. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I guess I'll just run it. Let's see. Bear might be open here. There we go. Yeah. Big hit from behind. 
Nice okay. What did I click? Oh, I clicked arrows. I meant to do split and drag. Let's do the run play, though, now, since we're a little closer. Okay, Clifton's back. That's good. So a couple of injury scares here. Not a fan. Okay, let's do this on a one count. Let's, like... Okay, no great jump. That's what we want. Nice fall forward. Nice fall forward. There we go. Dude, Clifton is already doing work. This is really nice. Twin halfback. Let's run the double option. Regular double option. And the option is to Clifton. Yeah. Okay, keeper to Ryan Matthews. This could be a keeper. Let's see if they shift. They shift out. They shift in a way that's better for the keeper. So let's go ahead and run the keeper. We'll do it on a three count. Or a four count. Here we go. <gasps> no, get it. Man, that's this. I've been lucky. I haven't really had a lot of this. This whole dynasty of the bad pitches. Of course, I haven't pitched it a ton. But this is something that can happen. I guess it's because his arm comes in. Ooh, right through the face. That's that's painful. So I guess that's why he fumbled it. He had an arm. He was impaled by someone's arm. But yeah, that does happen. They run the option and it almost cost them. You can't Second down. Like Let's just let the corner run out. The Quarter run out. Did I say corner run out? I don't know. I guess we can see if this looks... Uh, well, I'm going to try to run it here. It's an advantageous front. Let's try to run the swing pass, actually. There we go. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, we got the bowling ball effect. All right, I like it. Okay, let's try one. I want to try one. Uh, let's see, where's the one where Chaston? Yes. Can I get a Can I get a corner out with Chaston? Yes. Okay, I, I just want to try lobbing up to Chaston, or you know, see if it's see if it's open. So if it's man, we're we're looking to go to Chaston in the end zone here. It's not, but Dorsey's open against a dot. Not a good dot, though. He's not that good. 80, 82, 84. Okay, four yards. We'll take it. And this is kind of fun because this you can do this stuff more against uh, lesser teams. Stick, no, mesh. Mesh is good. 12-yard line. We can run this. Any closer, and we couldn't. So this is so here I'm going to look for uh, Saccone or the swing pass. With four wide receivers. There we go. It is nice that you can actually juke guys in Heisman. If you have the dot, you actually can. You can't get jukes. Okay, third and one. So here, this is definite. Uh, this is P.A. Reed territory. All right, they're in super dime. I don't like that linebacker on the left end, though. So actually, let's look to run the swing pass here. Great jump. That's not good. Okay, there we go. Yes, yes. Go down. Okay, okay. I still want to fumble. Looks good. So there is another. Let's run another formation. PA read. PA QB choice. Okay, he's not running a route though. After that, I think it's actually this formation. PA read. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty money calling pass plays down here. Look at their D line. They must have guys out of position. That does not look right. The Bulldogs come out showing three wide. Let's move Bear over. <gasps> oh, no, I thought Bear was going to block. Oh, he's pass blocking. Ah, I was like, oh, Bear's blocking. Yeah, he's going to seal this guy. No, he's pass blocking. That's design, though. That's my design. That's how it should go. I just didn't, I, I, you know, I misinterpreted. Okay, let's see. Let's run some drags. We got drags. Where's mesh? Where's mesh? It's not in this formation. Oh, short drags. There we go. That is exactly what I asked for. What? What's going on? Did they mass sub? Their corner's not even out there. What is going on here? Like what? Yeah, what's their deal? I swear they did mass subs accidentally. Right? I mean, what's going on? They're all red. I'm going to do replay and see. Okay, let's concentrate. We're looking for Chaston coming across. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. Oh, we got it. Nice. Tippy taps. Okay, let's look, though. Like, who who do they have out here? So who is this? 24. Okay, no name, but we have a number. 
24. Who's 24? Who who is this? Wait, hold on. They have their free safety at corner. They they must have done formation sub or they must have done mass subs. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, here we got a nine and a forty-four. 45-37. Who's 44? I bet it's like a fullback or something. Or a tight end. Defensive end. Yo, they did something. That's so weird. Because they don't have an injury, do they? No, they don't have an injury at least to their uh, their corner. Hmm. I don't know. Kickers on the field to attempt the extra point. Oh, they're challenging it. Yeah, I figured. I figured it was close. I figured it was. I don't. I don't. I don't be. I don't. I don't begrudge that challenge. Uh, depends on which foot hits. Left foot is in bounds, but the right foot might have hit out of bounds before that. No, left foot lower. That should be good. I wouldn't be surprised if they overturned it. It's kind of random. Yeah. There we go. Okay. 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 Now. Now this is the uh, this is the thing I talked about. Okay, what formation was I in? This is the thing I, that I talked about before. Where I want to avoid, I want to avoid that uh, that glitch, that ratings glitch. So I'm trying to think. I think I ran this formation. So this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to see if it works. I ran this formation right here. I'm not going to run the play. I'm going to I'm going to uh, just let it, let it run out. See, my guys look... No, I have issues. No, no. I, uh, I think I'm okay. So I'm going to let this run out and then go back to my kicking formation. And then just hope that I don't get the glitch. So let's see. Let's see. I don't have anything yet, it doesn't look like. Do they, though? Like, do they have some kind of glitch? They don't have any glitched ratings here. Yeah, so I think we're okay. And so here's the other thing, too. This might not actually have been the glitch scenario. I feel like the glitch scenario might be if it gets overturned. So what would happen is I score a touchdown, I bring out my field goal unit, they overturn it, and then I ha then that means we're going from field goal back to regular uh, a regular formation. That might be the actual glitch scenario. So this this might not have been it. I'm excited. I want to let's get some touchdowns this game, man. We already got a couple. Okay, I don't like it. Uh, what I do there? He delivers. Boom! Look at him let, lay the wood. Oh, that was nice. Was the intended receiver on that? Yeah, I'm, I, yeah no, please, no glitch. Look at this. I was able to get here. With, is that Kenny Avon? Oh, I thought it was a defensive end. Boom! Look how well he moves. Look how well Avon moves. He's not. He, dude, he moves around all right. Look at that. Like, what is his speed? What is his speed? This can't be that bad. Uh, what does he detackle? 72 speed. Wow. I mean, he's basically looks his stats look like a defensive end. Lower strength, higher speed, higher agility, acceleration. Look, he looks more like a defensive end than a D tackle. Okay, cover three. From their own 20 yard line. Second down. <laughs> Are you speaking as Kenny Avon? What I do now? The Aggie line up with four wide oh, I didn't get it. Let's just go here. He's it. it's oh, there we go. We got momentum. That, that works with momentum. I should, because I, just, I tell, keep telling myself, go for the bat down, go for the bat down. But you might get a pick. You know, of course, there's like barely a chance you get a pick, but there is a chance you get a pick. So who is that? That was Edwards. That's our, That's this is our, our really awesome fr true freshman safety. This guy's a beast. He's making so many plays. Okay, let's go for... Uh, Let's go for a, a pop right off the bat. Let's just let's just toss one up. Okay, this is going to say. So it's either say or it's uh, Clifton. Let's do a one count and just see if they jump. Okay, great jump. Yes, I'll go with the swing pass. So I don't know. Was Bear open? Ah, uh, kind of. But he's slow. Pass protection was okay, right? Yeah, pass protection actually worked out. He got one yard. Okay, let's look to run some stuff out of different formations. Oh, where is uh, there's like corner combo, cross post. Actually, this looks pretty good. So we have who's that on the post though? 
that looks like oh it's say on or say on the corner Dorsey coming across so actually let's look for uh, let's look for say or Clifton here here we go here we go. I'll let him get upfield though there we go look at that get out and they make the stop at the 27. He ran a pass protection is good. We have momentum. He did, and he made a good Let's try to pick this up. And we can afford to take a sack. Obviously not ideal, but we can't afford it as far as field position. Flanker special mesh. Oh, here's a good one. Let's go with Delta Pivot. Third down, four yards to go. So we might just end up lobbing one deep. Or it's going to look like it looks like an out to Dorsey. Work from the shotgun. R or X here. Ooh, look at Say. Look at Say. You know what? And I ran that in practice mode, and he got open all the time. I, I, I it's, it's kind of a little bit of a heart stopper to throw, uh, throw these funny routes to get in zone because guys will just randomly like leap out and pick it. But he was so wide open there. That's a fun one. That's a really fun play. All right, what else we got? Clear outs. Let's run this because that 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 slot out is good against man. And then it looks like if it's zone, we might catch Say coming across. So we're looking for for basically Chaston if it's man or Say if it's zone. So that's what Y or X. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh no! 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 He didn't clear. And this is something I run into all the time. I, I'm throwing it because I anticipate uh, Say coming out here, but he gets hung up on the DB. Ah, I really got to be careful with that. Because that's a pick against better DBs. Okay, we might try. Let's let's look up. Oh, receiver option. Okay, let's come let's come out and receiver option. Okay, they're in a nickel. A nickel favoring. Oh, this looks okay. This actually here we go here we go. We can run this. It's going to be a keeper though, so we got to be careful. I think we'll do the three count. Here we go. Get much. And and Brandstetter got rocked too. Ooh, <laughs> that hurt. To, that hurt to watch. Third and seven. Let's see what we got. Let's look up. Let's look up this corner sit. This is a really excellent play because see, look at look at Clifton's out. His little flare out is uh, it's really quick. It doesn't. He doesn't flare out. He goes more upfield. Dorsey, stretch out. Stretch out. What a perfectly Let's go. By this young quarterback. He's gone through and Let's go. That was nice. That's elevated the level of play for so, Clifton. Clifton is pretty open. If I throw this, there's a pretty good chance. I'd say he gets the first. But I just saw I just saw nobody in the corner. And also, like I said, these are not as good at defensive backs. you got to play your matchups. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. And he converts the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac. This might be a good time to experiment with some man-to-man. Uh, -man. I mean, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd call it experimenting. I mean, we just we're, we're, we have them overmatched. We have momentum. It's probably a good time for that. Yeah, thanks, John. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Yeah, we're, we got we got we got actually got an opening drive touchdown. Miraculously, that rarely happens. So let's do, yeah, let's do cover one, man. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. And let's, uh, we can man up on their, on their top wide out here. Actually, let's go for a rush. Ah, oh, guys, late. I didn't strain my eyes hard enough. Oh, get out there! And it's caught. And down he goes. That's what happened there. Oh, play action, and we, we bit. This young man is becoming more and more part of this pass. Let's, we'll stick with man. But let's get Riley in the hook zone. Yes. Okay. Oh, yikes. No, I don't know about that. We'll go cover three. Was that my responsibility? I'm actually not sure. Yeah, I think it was. But I was feeling, I was getting, I was kind of getting sucked in by this guy. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into hey, let's go back to the dime. They're just passing. They're passing a lot. They're always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small. Okay, so Banks. Edwards. We might try to... Number 10 okay. With four wide receivers. <sighs> late again. And he's taken down. Was I really that late? I did... <sighs> Barely. Like, they move. I move. <sighs> That's... How's that a late jump? 
I don't know. Whatever. I'll be okay. Okay, we'll go to Don we'll go to we'll go to we'll go to nickel. I want to guard against the run. I just don't have the read right now. I'm not tense enough. I'm too relaxed. <gasps> there we go. Uh, yeah, we're not running that back. Nice. Yeah, I'm too relaxed, man. Up 22-0. <laughs> I don't have the... I don't have enough, like, blood pressure pumping right now <laughs> to do... I feel like when I'm really tense and my eyes are really strained, that's when I'm good at the jump. I just don't have it right now. I'm too relaxed. Okay. Ooh, PAQB choice out of this formation. I, I don't really ever run this. So let's give it a shot. Mm, I think we might actually run... Okay, oh, see, there's no dump off here. That's probably why I don't run it. So we might look for Sei to get open. Look for Sei. Let's just do have Bear do a regular in. Mm, no, that's not happening. Oh, no, I, gosh. This guy... Ah, in my peripheral? I thought this was a lineman. I thought this was one of my blockers. Darn it. It's okay. Second and 23. Let's just let's run the ball. Let's just try to get some yardage. Let's come out in QB choice. From their own okay, they come out in a big a big set. So here, I think I'm going to switch to PA read flow. I just I can't I can't get sacked. I don't want to get safety here. So we're, we're probably looking to dump off. I mean, I, st I stood there on purpose, though. Now what happened? We're just not blocking anybody. Well, he's focused on this guy. Somehow he gets locked on to the blitzing corner. Ugh. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise that works. Because he's coming in from far away. He's looping inwards. He's going to get bunched up on the line. I'm going to have time to throw it. There's nobody over there. They called timeout. Okay, let's let's look into... Uh, let's look... Let's run PA read. But I want to hand it off. I just... I don't trust... Oh, you know what? Actually, it might be better. Well, no. We're just going to run it here. There we go. We'll get a few yards. That's good. That's, that's huge. And I was able to make the read, fortunately. I mean, it's just a read. I look at the left, and I just see your guys getting blocked. Mainly, it's nobody's blitzing. Like, if these guys blitz, I want to keep it because I don't want to get stuff from the run. Oh, look at this, though. This guy's running in. So they did have a blitzing corner again. Yeah, thank goodness we got some breathing room. Fourth and long. The Bulldog line up the front. Oh, I think my controller made the thing go up. Oh, maybe not. I thought I, I thought I saw the arrow going going up. Harris. Fields at 46. Look at Bernardi hauling down there. Okay, let's go back to... Let's just do dime cover three. They're going to be in a hurry-up situation. Uh, okay. New Mexico State comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Standing right there. Who are they throwing to? Oh, the receiver's running an in. Yeah, he's threw right to me. That interception couldn't have come at a worse time for the offense. So let's see if we get something going here. The first half, and we're talking about this team being out of the football game. Uh-uh. Uh, to get back in the game, they need to start making some defensive stops and put some points on the board. Okay, let's run. Where is the, uh, what is it called? Blinken. Corner sit. Yeah, we're on corner sit. They'll start at the 39. Take over at the 39-yard line. First and 10. Fresno State comes out of the shotgun. Off, catches it. He jukes him. Let's see, was it man? Uh, really not sure if I had a play there. It looks like it was man. Okay, let's hurry up and get into something else. Split and drag. Second down. Ball on the 43 yard line. Brandstatter with four wide receivers. Steps back to pass. Let's it go. It's complete. And he's tackled at the 49. Okay, actually, let's run hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, and then we can audible to PA read flow or QB choice. The Five down linemen. Drops back to pass. With a bullet over the middle. Okay, we have timeouts, though. Yes, yeah, uh, we're on hurry up because we've got a clock stoppage for the first down. And then we'll we'll run a, we'll call a timeout after that. 
New Mexico State going with a three-man front. Surveys this gets me harder to cheer. No one open, so he's going to run. Fresno State. Yeah, see, these are the kind of things. It really opens up when you're going against a lesser team. Like, I'd be afraid to do this against a, you know, a, a big-time opponent. They're going to have a D-line that's not going to let me get out of the pocket like that. Okay, what other plays we have in the repertoire? Inside hook, no. Let's run Mesh. Mesh is a fun one. So here we're looking either for Saccone or Say coming across or Clifton Smith. We want to look all right. Everything's looking to the right here. Saccone, B, okay. B, R. There we go. We'll take it. Take what they give us. Take what they give us. Okay, let's come out. Actually, let's come out in QB choice. Let's see how they line up. Okay, they're in a dime. This is something I can run against. They fan out. They fan out, but it should be okay. okay let's, oh, goodness. Let's, okay, let's do PA read flow. We're going to change. Look at their DB alignment. That's so weird. Oh, no, the safety's just up. Okay, so here I'm really hoping that I can run off tackle. <gasps> Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Uh, I think it's time for another timeout. Yeah, let's see how quickly we get to the line. Okay, he's going to pump up. I don't know. When do they put it down? Yeah, we're calling timeout. Okay. Delta pivot. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Let's run delta pivot. We're kind of in that range where we could lob one deep. And who's running that corner? It's a shallow corner. And it is Sei again. Okay, we hit Sei on this earlier. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, and their guys are back in. That dog guy's back. Look, pretty much looking for Y or B. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that against a better team. Yeah, it's, did we get a first? Okay, we got a first, so we can run hurry up. Against a better team, that's probably a pick. That was a mistake. Oh no, no. Okay, we're it's end of the half. We're gonna run out of time. So it's field goal time. That's okay. We've got some yardage, pad the stats a bit, and we'll uh, pad that lead as well. Wait, let's look, let's look though. Did I have anybody? Yeah, see, Saccone's not open. What about Chaston over here? Chaston, I mean, I could force it to Chaston. He has inside position here, and these safeties, these deep safeties, don't really come up to make a play. He'll probably, so probably what ended up happening is, if I chuck it, you'll see this, this little relationship right here, it's going to be Chaston here, the DB here, which inside position is good, this guy's going to probably be far back. He's probably not going to come up. So I actually could have tried to rocket catch if I really wanted to force it in, but I just didn't want to force it in. You know, if it's a situation where I have to score into the game, then I'm doing it, but not there. Let's go, Clint. Let's go, Clint Sitzer. That's, that looks good. Fresno State gets set to kick this one away. Harris and Du Bois back deep to return. He kicks it off. Harris fields it in the end zone. Cool. She's got a pretty good vertical. She should try out. In the first half, our score: Fresno State 26. New Mexico State, nothing. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, 197 offense. That's that's really nice. It'd be good to it'd be good to get over 400. The teams are lined up, and we're just about ready to start this second half. Yeah, this is this is this is the recipe. Lower lower team. Get a score to open the game. Get some momentum. Let the defense do work. Yikes, set him down. Also, I don't know. I don't know if I should start thinking about taking out Riley and Klutz. But maybe after, maybe if we get another score, maybe we'll do that. Because I also want to keep it realistic. I don't want to keep it entirely just, oh, just, uh, yeah, you know, check it deep. Okay, here we go. Let's run some 4-3. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's call that again. There we go. New Mexico oh, State oh. sets up in the eye. Back to pass. Got the great jump that time. Oh, that might be first. No, nope, third inches. Okay, let's do this. We will call a blitz and then audible to cover three. So we got this. We're gonna come out and okay, it's not giving me my audibles. There we go. 
They've got their man lined up in the backfield. Okay, they audible back. Oh, almost got in the backfield. That tackle would have done it. Would have done it. And the run is good for the first. Yep, this is oh, he was in the zone, though. Dude, I got they decked. Like run the ball in these kind of situations. Thanks, that's my freshman corner. Play call there. From their own 35-yard line. First and ten. First down. Okay, let's try to rush some more. Number 10 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Number 10 slings it. Got it to the senior. Number 19. Nice little pattern there. Yeah. So the running back came over? Yeah, he came over nicely. Why don't my running backs do that? Just slide over whenever there's a free rusher. I oh, also had this guy coming in. Is that uh, Shirley? Oh, that's a Kenny Yvonne. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's run cover two. I think this is the first time in the Dynasty I'm going to run cover two. My prediction is they chuck it deep. I'll run, I'll run this corner right here, too. Yep, there you go. Hey, he dropped it, though. Got lucky. That's a, their dot receiver, too, dropped it. It's too bad for them. All right, well, if we're, if we're having that kind of luck, let's run cover two again. Let's run it with Dime. And see if we uh, see if they chuck a deep on us again. Okay, I'm gonna Emmanuel Riley. I want to play more up toward the line of scrimmage because look how far back his zone is. Break in, break in. Nope. Oh, here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And this is a play. I, 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 I just instincts took over. I really didn't even want to do this, but instincts took over because what, what's happened a lot in the last few games is I undercut this and the ball goes over my head to where I can't. I don't have a chance to bat it down. But see here, he's taking a position where he's farther back. Because he's play, he's basically, he's playing the ball, not the man. And the ball path technically ends up over here, so he's kind of running this direction, which takes him just in front of the receiver where he can't make a play. All right, good deal. Actually, let's do something else. I'm going to put Lanya in it at uh, that kick return and punt return now. Which won't affect this play, but... After this, it'll take over. Kick return. Let's go with Dorsey and Lamar. Lamar Miller. Lamar Miller. Lanier. I see L. Miller. I've played too much fantasy football. He punts it. Number 18 fields it at the 26. Probably could just, we'll probably just fair catch from now on. Uh, let's go with double. Let's do classic double option. So the primary option is to the left. So this is actually a keeper. No, let's run Let's run primary with Clifton. Because we're always looking to hand off first. So this is primary option Clifton. With the keeper. The keeper, the keeper has potential here. So let's do it. Here we go. Oh, no, that's bad. Ooh, here we go, here we go. See, we've got a little bit of bowling ball there. Not the ideal run play, though. That that was uh, that could have been a loss easily. See, does Clifton have over 100 yet? Whenever he gets 100, I want to yank him. I just don't want to lose my guys. He's got 57. Well, okay, I don't know if we'll hold out for 100. Let's see how this drive goes. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 34-yard line. Okay, we'll go ahead and leave it. We'll look the hand off, though. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it's the pass blocking. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's a grumbler. That, that gets a grumble for me. Let's go with corner sit. Oh, this actually looks ripe for a QB choice. Yeah, let's change to QB choice and see how they react. Okay, they don't move their line, which is really good. Now, can we move this linebacker? Not really. It's okay, though. There we go. Oh, no! No! That was going for first, but he got blown up. He got blown up. Yeah, because this is... He has all kinds of room over here. Look at this. There's nobody here. Oh, that corner got off the block. Hmm. We might want to start passing a little more. They're blown up the run. And just stick with uh, conservative passing. Short stuff. I don't want to throw any picks. Dude, my punter's got a boot. I didn't Eric. think his kick power was that high, though. What is his kick power? He's on plus four. Ninety. Hmm. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build yeah, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take out. Uh, I'm gonna take out Riley and Klutz. 
Okay, let's get Malik in there. And we'll get Kadir Brown. Yeah. So here we want to go to Ben Jacobs. Yeah, that looks good. They'll, They'll take, take over, over at the 38-yard line. First and 10. New Mexico State lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Number 10. Unload. Got it. And it's picked off. I was just Saturday sitting on it. The they love throwing at you. Here, Maybe I should run cover two zone more. It's just it's so susceptible. Well, you know, it depends on if how good their receivers are compared to my DBs. Against against evenly matched or inferior uh, receiving core, I guess I could be going for uh I could go for more more picks and more more cover two, I should say. Yeah, QB slot. Oh, let's get some running with actual run blocking. Look, their defensive ends are actually not, they're doing pretty good. Okay. So this guy following a little bit. Let's do a two count or three count. We'll do a two count. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're blitzing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Gets about a yard on the play. Here's something I'll try out. Slot whips. And the read here is, if it's man, we can try to hit the slots. If it's zone, we'll just dump off to Matthews quickly, and hopefully it's a good pass he can turn around. around. There we go. Ah, he didn't, didn't get a good turnaround animation. Behind the, I lost yardage? That's frustrating. Whatever. Okay, let's run. Let's run mesh. Yeah, let's run this. We'll run it to... Yeah, we'll run it so the corner is on the far side. And we'll look for we'll look for Dorsey coming across. Their guy's not flashing. That's good. Let's block. Let's block Clifton. We need to get the ball downfield. So X. It's gonna be X or Y. <sighs> that might be a pick. Ooh, lucky. Oh, lucky. Look at that. Their guy just didn't. Their guy had no animation. I was able to run past him. You know, we talk about this yeah, he had no animation. I got so lucky because I don't have position. Oh, look at this. I actually had uh, I had Say coming across. Oh, Dorsey. There's no guarantee he gets the first because this guy could run up and tackle. But wow, Dorsey, what happened? He just roasted this guy. Yeah, their DBs are just not keeping up with anybody. So let's run. Let's, let's get, let's get uh, Matthews in there. Let's run PA read. Try to get him in a pass defense. It's hard to tell what that is. That is a three down lineman. That's like a, oh, that's four down. I don't know what that is. Let's change the QB choice though. Let's at least get some run blocking. Okay, their guy shift around a bit. Three, two, one, there we go. Get in, get in, yeah, there we go. Okay, see, that's the push. That's the push we get. That wouldn't work without momentum against a better opponent, but hey, that's the situation, player matchups. Hey, and John, let us know when that Madden game is. I really want to watch. It's been fun to watch, especially since you're doing well. Your season is, it's, uh, it's ramping up to some playoff action. Du Bois. Yeah, we'll go over to. We're having pretty good success. Sniped an interception last time. And really, for as far as your your wide out cor your wide corners sniping picks, this is the formation to do it. I'm just I'd be content with just getting them to punt though. And plus, not to get greedy, but this is greedy. What I'm about to say is greedy. If they punt, then I can get more yardage. If I pick them, I don't get as much yardage for a score. Oh, okay, that's a good play. Oh, no, no, no. See, the, the safety ran up and overran it. He just overran it. Yeah, look at that. So that's that's a spot where I should have manual controlled. Instead, I tried to turn around, but there was just no chance of me turning around. Well, it's okay. Let's be realistic. They do have some playmaking, just not enough to compete over the course of a game. Yeah, we don't need to block kicks. 
So under three minutes to go in the third quarter, and the score, Fresno State, 33. And also something I need to check on, too, is my my national ranking for offense and defense. I'd really be curious. I'd be really curious to see what that is, because I think last year I was like, well, I was number one in defense. Offense, I was probably close to last. I don't see how I couldn't have been last or close to it. Great passing was the key for the offense. So realistically here, there's under 10 minutes left in the game. I'm going to put in Matthews and and, uh, and Lanier. Uh, we'll take out Brandstater too. And we'll take out Chaston. Who's back here? Leonard? Yeah, I'll put Leonard in there. So let's try some running. So here we go. We'll go on some action. Right, let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. 238. We at least got to crack 300. The Bulldogs set up in the gun. Norton options out to the right. Uh, what happened? I thought he was going to block. Oh, just lack of engagement. That's that's like what you'd see on your uh, on your uh, progress report in like fourth grade. Lack of engagement during spelling or chemistry. Come on, man. All right, let's, uh, I guess we'll try to pass a little bit. Short drags. Yeah, let's run short, run short drags. Then we might get uh, a possibility to run, go deep. Oh, Leonard? Okay, I don't know about throwing it to Leonard, but we'll try. Let's block, let's block Lanye. And look for Saccone coming across or Leonard there. Okay, it's going to be Saccone coming across. There we go. And he's taken down. So was he open? Uh, Leonard. Oh, he was. Look at that. Dude, their DBs are so bad. This is like, even on Heisman, <laughs> I would not expect this. Okay, let's let's try to run the ball some more. Okay, let's let's try our big set. Let's try our big set. And we got uh, Matthews in there. We're far side. He's fast. This, shoot. Based on how bad their D is, this could go for a touchdown. It just depends. Oh, it's, did, he did he catch one? He did catch one in that game, huh? Forgot about that. Oh, this could be TD. Oh, out running the sideline. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. 92 speed. Hoof it out. Hoof it out, Matthews. Oh, so close. Good run, though. Good run. That's a good chunk of offense. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. All right, let's get one to Leonard. <laughs> What's his number? He's number 17, it appears. Uh, okay, he's, so he's at right. Hey, Pierre Reed. So let's look. Let's run short drags. Let's run short drags again. No, that's a corner out. Let's run short drags and see if we get them coming across. Okay, so let's uh, actually let's send Lamar. Let's send Lanye out. I want to call Lamar. Oh, well, we got the first. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. Who's there back there? Matthews. Let's get Lanye right. back there. Let's run PA Reed. We may change this to QB choice, down. though. Yeah, let's change to QB choice. Against that big old dime or super dime. So they don't move. That's good for me. Now, does this or the DB follow? I don't know if I have much time, though. He doesn't really follow. So here we go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, get in there. Let's go. Impose your will. This, this gal's getting a lot of screen time. Yeah, that's nice. Got the stiff arm. Well, they actually didn't stiff arm, but he got that. Now, actually, this this is another thing they included in this game that I, I don't think it was in 06. This is a, this is a Tecmo... Tecmo Bowl-esque button mash, if I remember right. So when you get into kind of this struggle where they're both kind of just leaning up against each other, like heavyweight boxers, you're supposed to just mash mash A, I think. And it's supposed to help you break out of the tackle. And there's a few things that can happen. You can either get a nice fall forward, which there I think I just got a nice fall forward animation, right? Oh no, it's actually what happens is, I think I break through the tackle, and then this guy, 96, tackles me. So I actually break this tackle attempt of 24. I actually break it. So if there's nobody else there, I could keep running. And, of course, the play's going to end when I hit the end zone. But that's they do have that in this game, that kind of Tecmo, that Tecmo mash. It's the Tecmo mash, the Tecmo mash. And he hits the PAT. It so was a, a New Mexico smash. Over. I'll stop now. Fresno State is ready to kick it away. Harris. And the boys set to return. He hits a booming kick. 
So I might manual control. I might manually control uh, Jackson now to see if I can get some stats. Yeah, let's go back to cover three. That cover two, what, what, and what I tell you about the the chuck deep, and a part of it too is my my safeties are pretty green, so. New Mexico State comes out in the shotgun. Oh, I almost had his first sack. Dang it. I overran him. I overran him. Just engage, dude. Oh, oh man. That's uh, okay. We'll, we'll get that one back. We'll get that one back. What was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Before. Oh, the cover two and my safety. Yeah. The safeties and cover two, they have a lot asked of them, and my guys just aren't that good yet. Even against New Mexico State. Back to pass. Oh man, they got to the QB at least. I, it didn't say great jump, but I felt like I got it. Yeah, it's pretty much a great jump. Okay, let's go. Let's go cover three dime. Brown. Oh, they got subbed out. Oh, wait, Chris Carter's in there. Let's flip back. We got some. We had some uh, subs. I think for uh, fatigue purposes there. That's kind of strange. That must be a low threshold, because it's not like I've been on on defense a whole bunch. Okay, let's. Uh, we'll let Lanya get a few yards. Miller fields at the 34. That last drive resulted in a touchdown, mainly because of the running game. Okay, let's get it back going to Lanya. Let's maybe try to get Lanya in like a swing pass. Right over the top for six. Uh, let's go, I'll go stick just because I haven't really called this. My pass blocking is really good, so I can wait for guys to get open. I can afford it. But I really want to just get out to Lanya here. Comes out in the shotgun. He passes it. Catches it. Shifty move there. Three yards there on the play. Okay, he's kind of tired. Oh, he did just run that kickback, too. Okay, let's go with... Uh, actually, let's go with the tight... Ace normal. What is ace normal? I don't know what that is. QB choice. Second and seven. I have to look. If I had, if I was just in practice mode, I would look and see what that is. Okay, any shift. They fan out. We might still try. It. We'll still try to run it here. Yes, you got caught. Nice. Ooh, ooh, this has potential. Let's go. Ugh. Yeah, with the dot, that has more potential. He he'll run faster with the dot. Just, I'm gonna have to dot him next year. Having the dot running back has been huge this year. Looks like that's it for the quarter. All right, well in hand. We'll do PA read. Get him a nickel. We'll take the nickel. We might run the swing pass here. They're fanned out. So yeah, this is looking like swing pass. I mean, I would hand it off, but I just haven't had luck with it. I don't know. This could be a good spot to hand it off still. There we go. I, I was iffy. I was kind of, I was kind of conflicted, because at first I just don't see. Uh, my first look is our guys rushing and they weren't, but then this guy flared out left, which scared me, which made me run inside. And thankfully they just didn't, they didn't, they didn't peel off and engage. Okay, here let's run PA read. Same deal. Probably hand it off. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. Okay, no shifty shift. This actually looks good for a, a, a swing pass, so let's do that. Ah, didn't get a good. Yeah, he's just not as fluid. Trying to turn up field, ended up juking. Yeah, I must have tried a too sharp of a turn or something. Okay, let's run HB divide seam so I can look at the uh, slot man, which is Sacone. Sacone or Dorsey. Actually, Dorsey might get super loose here. Depends on what their defense is. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can go to Dorsey here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, they just don't have. Bot they don't. They don't have. They don't have good guys back there. Oh, look at look at Sacone get loose here too. That actually would have been the better read. I just saw a man, and I knew, uh, so I was, I was looking at Dorsey, and he was, he had position. And also, I will say, too, that this Saccone route requires a much better throw than this one does. Because this one, if he just gets it, in wherever wherever it ends up, like if, if it ends up, if the target's here, if it's here, wherever it is, I'm going to manually just undercut it anyway. 
with this, with this route, the ball has to be like a certain distance out to, so I can maintain separation from this defensive back. So even though Sakone may have looked more open, that requires a better pass. And Norton's, well, it's going to look pumped up now, but his accuracy is not that good. I think it's 80. Uh, oh, 86. That's not bad. Base. So you can see plus two. So the base is, base accuracy is 86. That's not bad. But I do feel like, I do feel like it helped Branster immensely. His, his off in his off-season development, I think his accuracy went from like 86 to 88 or it's 90 now. It might even have been 90. Uh, that little bit of accuracy he gained in the off-season was a big help. So 86, it kind of seems like maybe you can't trust it. Well, it's not the defense. <laughs> the commentary in this game is pretty good. It is good. Let's man up. Let's man up out here. Oh, I know it now. Let's go with Jordy in the middle here. This is a challenge right here. Ooh, just, uh, I went for the bat down too, but I didn't. Here's the problem. I was standing on the dot. You want to be moving toward it, not actually standing on it. So I actually kind of bat it into his hand a little bit. What do you think of that catch, Coach? This game's got its highs and lows, but one of the highs has got to be the play of this kid. He could play for my team any day. I don't know. Do I dare tempt fate again? The Aggie come out in a shotgun. Okay, we're coming up, but just so I can get my back. Let's it fly. So I can basically be running toward the play. A pickup of five. Okay, let's see if we can get some action with uh, Brown. Oh no, that's it. I, it's because I have the LB rush on is why why uh, why uh, Jax is not out there. Got it. Tackle at the 49. Hard to believe it, but that is his fifth pick of the ball Fifth pick. I didn't even realize we picked it that many times. He's been throwing it to double and triple coverages all day. Yeah, you're bound to get intercepted a lot if you make those types of throws. They'll so they'll start this drive at midfield. First and ten. They line up with trips to the right. Hmm. Here's an option, right side. And he's taken down at the 45. Matthews gains about four yards on the play. Second they line up six. at the 45. It's second down. Dude, it, it really is. They come out with three wide receivers. It's it's Hawaii esque. I guess I'll hand off here. Oh, we got lucky there. Okay, let's just get down. Yeah, I got really close to their guy. I was I thought that was gonna be a tackle, but it looks like he was still kind of in some block shit recovery. Tough when you're tired. You're losing, you're being dominated physically. I don't know how long they can keep this up. Here's the offensive production statistics sponsored by I should Coca probably start to bleed clock here too. Okay, we can change this to QB choice to so get New better run blocking. Because we're we're handed off at this point. Here. We're handed it off. So let's see what these slot guys are doing though. Option to the right. William yeah. tackles him. Good stuff. What a play. Just a simple so I, I do need to get, for the record, I do need two more picks <laughs> to qualify as Hawaii, I think. Uh, let's run motion, get WR, but we're going to look to hand off still. Shift over. Okay, this looks good for Lanier to pick up some yardage, possibly even a TD. We'll see here. Yeah, that end came free. I just really didn't want to keep it. Oh, wow, neither, neither end got blocked. Miller. Gets about a yard on the play. Okay, let's run some. Let's run some drags here. They line up at the 14. It's second down. We want to get a touchdown go. still. Torcey, Leonard. So we're looking probably. Actually, we're looking for Say coming across or Sacone in the end zone. Oh no! What happened? Oh, dude, that was going to be a sweet run after catch. He just didn't. Uh, Look at this. So here's the question, the age-old question. Does he look to run before he has the ball? He's looking at the ball. He looks to run. Kind of. Kind of committed the cardinal sin there. All right, what do we got? Let's look for something. Let's just look. For, we want something with, like, a post and a corner. 
No yard corner is perfect. It's third down. So against zone, it's Say against man, it's Leonard, so this might be Leonard's time. Also, it could be Ryan Matthews in the flat. So actually, maybe I'll do that, either Leonard or Ryan Matthews. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Say kind of. Let's look at Ryan Matthews. Uh, that's a bad pass. That's okay. He just overthrew them on that one. Quarterback has to make those passes. You can't overthrow a guy like that. I know. Well, dude, don't say that. Sac State might put up a better fight. I don't want don't, to don't jinx it. This could make the lead bigger. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. But I think having my pass offense a little more opened up is, is helping me quite a bit. Because I last year against bad teams, I was winning by you know 10, 14. I wasn't winning like this. But since I have the ability to get more chunk yards passing and and longer longer uh, passes as well, it's really uh, it's really clicking. Okay, so let's try to get some stuff going with Malik. Actually, I should sub out Roberts too. Number ten comes to the line with three wide. There we go. First sack. We've got a second and fourteen. Ball on the thirteen. Ball on the, 13. the bulldog bring in their dive package over the middle. I'll let the CPU handle it. Oh man. What a pretty pass play. Oh, that guy's got. That's a pretty good stat line. He's just. He doesn't care. He knows we can't. He can't win, but he's just trying to get a stat line to where he can maybe make the uh, the senior bowl. It's first and ten. New Mexico State lines up with three receivers. Late jump. Let's it fly. Caught Harris. Tackles him for a loss on the play. Taken back three yards. And I could also just play like play back with this guy and try to get some tackles. I'll try for more sack though. Number thirty four is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. Ooh, wow, that would have been sick. Yeah, but when you when you get the great jump, a lot of times the QBs just telepathically know it and they throw it really quickly. Third and thirteen. Third and thirteen. Ball on the yard line. Oh, they sub their guys out. I need to, I should do the same. I'll do it next play. New Mexico State comes out in the shotgun. Yeah. Actually, no, I can't mass sub. I can, I'll, I'll do manual subs. Because mass subs, I get receivers at DB. out of there too. There we go. Here's the offensive production statistics sponsored by Coca-Cola. Hey, we cracked 400 on offense. That's good. The defense lines up with six DB. Looking, throws it out there, catches it. Edwards. Dude, this guy can move. At the 43-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second, Second down. Ball on the 43 yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. They'll nice. Sack him at the the Is that Ike? Yeah, I put him at end. So maybe I'll do this. I think I'll go with uh, cover two man and then. Manually bring Malik Jackson back and just play kind of a middle zone. Give him a chance of getting a tackle. The Aggie with four receivers. Back to pass. Short talk. Complete. He's taken down at the 43. Doesn't get enough for the first down. Yeah, nice job of making a few yards, but they gotta be disappointed they didn't right. make the first down. So I'm thinking 
Give it to Lanier for a few runs to close it out after this, and that'll do it. So this has been a good game, textbook. Calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. The fine folks from EA Sports would like to tip their hats to these kids on being named Cope Players. Dorsey, two touchdown catches. Very nice. The Bulldogs come out in the shotgun. Yeah, it's been a banner day for a few guys. Oh my goodness. And they make the stop yeah. The -yard line. This is the biggest blowout I think I've had. Yeah, it's, it's got to be the biggest one I had. I mean, back with my old offense before I was really doing things like this, I think I beat, I think I beat Nevada like 23 to, might even have been like 23 to zero. The defense lines up with and back then that was a big, uh, that was a big deal. Oh my gosh. William gets in the backfield for a loss. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. Okay, let's run. Let's actually get Matthews back out there. And we'll run PA read flow. It's third down. We might try to swing out to we'll probably try to swing out to Matthews. Cause I think they'll call a timeout. No state. On. Lines up with a shotgun set. Norton throws it out there. He jukes it. Yeah, there we go. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38 yard line. That's how you convert third down. Yeah, because I think if we I think if we didn't pick that up, I think they're calling a timeout, and I don't want that. Not allowed. So this will be the last one. First and ten. Yeah. Four wide receivers in the formation. Spin move. Spin move, spin move. So the tailback gets two yards. Alright, GG's. Second, second. Go out in the victory formation, a.k.a. four wide. That was a good one. So we will check the stats, we'll check recruiting, and that'll do it for us today. And this screen reminds me, something I could experiment with a little bit is maybe putting a screen on an audible, so... If I run four wide and they're in some kind of three four bunch up, I could try to run a screen. Although things like that, you you almost you almost definitely want to be passing to a dot receiver if you're thrown to a non dot or a receiver that's just not that good. They simply don't turn up field that well. Yeah, that's a good one. Brad Nessler thanking you for playing, and we'll see you next time. So what, they just got the 7, right? Or did they get, did they end up with 10? They got the 7. All right, 431 uh, yardage, that's really good. Passing 249, so we're pretty even. 182 rushing, I like it. Efficient on third down, efficient in the red zone. They never got in the red zone. One fumble, I've been getting lucky on fumbles. Haven't been losing too many, and really haven't been fumbling that much overall. So, let's see, Brand Sater, 182, 21, 24, that's very efficient, that's that's pretty good. Yards per attempt is not real high, but it's okay, we weren't doing anything, uh, we weren't pushing it downfield that much, we didn't want to want to risk it. Matthews with the 114, so he had a long one, right? Yeah, a long of 45. And the touchdown, Clifton with the touchdown. Clifton the 45, so he continues to be my leading receiver out of the backfield. Dorsey with the two touchdowns, it's nice to spread it out. Feels good. That's something I can do with Brian Sater and his better accuracy and also going against uh, inferior uh, secondary. Yeah, they got a lot of pancakes, though. Look at all the picks. That's nice. We got the sacks. Malik Jackson with his first career sack. Very, very nice. All right. National rank 35. Yeah, so if we if we win out, we should get ranked. But yeah, it's just too bad that you have to when you start from far behind. It's like you get you get penalized immensely for losing, and you don't gain that much for winning in rank. Especially when you're just when you're not beating anybody that's that good. So beating Boise, when that if we do if we can beat Boise, well, they're only a B this year. Last year they're an A minus. That's a humongous drop off. But they lost. I'm sure they lost Sabransky. Who else? 
I forget who their other dot star guys were, but they must have lost some key guys, obviously. Oh, so here's my stats. Actually, let me if we look here. So let's see, points per game, 30th. That's really good. Man, that's so good for a play, for playing and not uh, simulating. Total offense, 50. Rush offense, 56. Pass offense, 49. That's good, man. That's balance. Total defense, 54. Okay, see, that that I like. I like that. I don't want to be number one in defense. It's crazy. Rush defense, two. Pass defense. I'm toward the bottom in pass defense. I think, I think what that says is I need to bat down more passes. I, I'm actually really happy that I see this defensive ranking and how bad it is. I straight up just need to I just need to uninstall my my pick attempt button and only go for bat downs because I give up a lot of long passes off of failed picks. I mean the places to pick it are really it's with linebackers and like last year remember Riley and uh, gosh was it Goodwin I think they had a bunch of picks and it's because linebackers because they're kind of squared up they're squared up to the QB you know kind of in a strafe. That's a much more likely stance to get the, get a pick from. So, might have to just start doing bat downs with DB. So next week, Utah State, they're a C, so they look like they're not very good. That's a pretty big difference. C to a B is a pretty big difference in your, your player attributes. All right, so 2-0 in the WAC. And that's good to get off to a 2-0 start. Last year, what, we beat Hawaii, no, pardon me, we beat Nevada and then lost to Hawaii. All right, let's look at uh, recruiting, and that'll do it for us. So here, didn't gain here with this guy. Still doing okay. Still number one here. Number three, he likes academics. His parents like academics. I think that counts as him also liking academics. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. And that'll change when I get a dot on my safety, but really not until then. And I mean, that, that's not even guaranteed to happen. I think it's pretty likely, though, that we'll get a dot on that guy eventually, and that'll really open up the D. The D is going to be a lot of fun when I get a dot safety. That just opens up so much because you can bring him in the box, you can play him deep. That's going to be a lot of fun. Dot safety is probably it's probably the best position to have a dot on defense, really. So rolling along here, tackle. He likes the academics. We were crank. You know what? In re in real life. Uh, Fresno State has pretty good ac academics for uh, for uh, athletics. We do pretty well. Look at this. I mean, should we try giving this guy points? We found his... You know what? Defensive tackle. Oh, we do need D-tackles. We're top on this guy's list. Do we have any other D-tackles? This guy's low. You know what? I am going to... I'm going to shave off a point off these guys and give that guy some points and just see if he comes up. Because we found his pitch, we're winning. We might be able to s snipe him. We haven't uh, fallen off the list yet. We'll just see if we don't get trimmed. If we don't get trimmed. I really want this tight end. I mean, it, it's tight end's not crucial. Because it just means if, if I had, don't have good receiving tight ends, then I just have to run four receiver formations instead of three receiver with a tight end. But, uh, but it's fun to have a good receiving tight end. Because then you get a match up on, match up, matched up on linebackers and safeties. And... Uh, it opens things up quite a bit. Defensive tackle, tackle. Yeah, so it's looking pretty good on on uh, in-season recruiting guys. So, so there you go. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Now is this guy? Okay, we finally fell off. He cut his list. I was about to say we could look at the other guy. We haven't been giving points to, but that's this gentleman. Also, we're doing okay outside linebacker. Really not a position you need. I don't know what our actual needs are. Yes, yeah, so we don't need any. So we need middle linebacker, though. So what we might end up doing is uh, we could convert an existing li outside linebacker to middle. but Or just we'll just recruit offseason, too. So, so there we go. We will save. And I think that'll that'll do it for this video. I'll keep the stream on for a moment, but uh, I think that's, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Probably our biggest victory yet, point-wise, 50 to 50 to 7. So that's a 37-pointer. Excuse me, 43-pointer. Where's my math at? Jonathan Martin. Was he recruited to Fresno? Or is this some sarcasm? Let's look that up. Jonathan Martin recruiting.
Yeah, just got to make sure that we don't also recruit uh, Richie Incognito. So I don't see him on. The, okay, let's go complete. I don't see us. On, I don't see Fresno on the top five. Yeah, I don't see us on the top five. You never know, though. But yeah, historical fiction. Yeah, I mean, I definitely could. I definitely could. Oh, oh, there was a Jonathan Martin. Oh, I didn't realize <laughs> there's an actual Jonathan Martin. Okay, okay, Jonathan. Well, hold on. We got to go back into Dynasty then and look at that. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh, no way, really? Oh, dude, nice catch, Jared. Nice catch. And I'm sure I would have seen that eventually, but I wasn't paying that close of attention. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> oh, he's a tight end. He's a tight end. Close, though. We're cl dude, that's, that's a good catch either way, though. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> oh, another thing we could check, too. Do we have any Heisman? I mean, Clifton is getting... No, he's not. Aaron Straten. Never heard of that guy. Didn't make it in the NFL, apparently. I guess we could check Players of the Week, too. Let's look real quick. Uh, whack. Oh, no. Clifton. Yeah, anyway. All right, yeah. So that's, that's going to... Yeah, dude, that's a good catch, though. That's... That would have, either way, either way, that's pretty entertaining. So, so yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time with Utah State season two rolls on.